Thank heavens you're still breathing. What was that storm? It wasn't natural for sure. Oh. But next time, maybe work on your landing technique. Now, let's see what's left in the airship. Oh, my hammer. Good thing it didn't fall far. Look at this mech. That's what I call good dwarf workmanship. A few dents, that's all. I'll fix them right away. The mech is ready. Time to get in. salvaged what I could. We can look around. Some pieces might have landed elsewhere, but I think it's a good spot. Just smell the forest. Time to build a base. Ready to start a new colony. Wood and stone, or how they say it. We have some wood, now it's time for stone. Finally. Wood dries or rots. Stone lasts for ages. You can build a shelter out of wood, but you cannot build a house without stone. a good place to dig. Wait a moment. Look at these scratches. Somebody has been here before us. A rock must have broken off. That's it. These are wild lands. We are the first to explore here. What's that sound? What is it? I think something that doesn't want to be our friend. It used to be a wild animal. What on earth happened to it? I'm not sure, but I think it was something even the songs were afraid to mention. No, such things never appear one at a time. It's like an illness spreading through the body. It's only the beginning. Have you done enough digging? Yes, that's it. We can build a well on the mana spring. The colony buildings need mana just like my armor. I could dig stone all day, but I'm sure. 
sure had enough of cutting wood. It's high time to build a salt and power it up with a mana pipeline. Now we have to build a stone mine and a quarry connected to the pipeline. You said you could dig stone all day. Work first, play later. Done. The sun is setting. Not good. We still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. Expecting someone? All the filthiest things in this world like to come out at night. I can play fire, but I'm afraid you won't make it. We can use some defensive turrets. Let's hurry up, my poor, defenseless troop.
safe now. Whatever comes close to this turret will regret it. And if the turret shoots at us? It won't. I will keep silent, but remember, it's an anxious kind of silence. The smell. True, something really bad is going on here. I can see that. The monsters are coming out of this nest. It's not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place... We have to destroy the nest. Otherwise, the settlers will stand a chance. Otherwise, nobody stands a chance. send settlers here? I'm a bit worried as well. But oh, who are we to criticize the verdicts of the noble council? They must have had their reasons. Well, they might have. And we have our tasks. To dig a well, to build houses for the settlers. We will get ripped apart by wild beasts. But at least we know where they are coming from. And we can destroy their nest. What's that? Dark stone. A concentration of dark magic. Maybe it would be better not to leave it here. You're right. That monster and stone are made from the same source.
hope they will have better lives here. No hunger, no deadly frost. No. Do you know how many have said this before? Generation after generation. It's good to finally understand. Let's go. Dear host, when we asked you for something to drink, you gave us plain water, you twit. For that, we will go to your well, and right there, without much ado, take it home. I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient Eskoim ports. These half buildings, half machines guided airships and served as a harbor. Look, Eskoim ruins. They have stood here for thousands of years. Look here. This looks like some Eskoim blueprint of some kind of thrust engine. I, think I know how to improve my armor using this technology so that it can jump much higher. We have to go to the workshop to see if it works, or it will be a waste of resources. Something's not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. All the gearing looks good, but we need a navigation stone for the port to function correctly. Navigation stone? I read about it. Let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is still there, buried among the rubble. But if we want to find the wheel, we have to look for it near the airship. Dwarves used such stones in their airships, haven't they? Yes. Ooh, that's why we are going to the crash site. The crash trail ends here. Navigation stone is not here. It must have fallen off somewhere else. We must find it. I have an idea where it might be. <sighs> Breathtaking. This view has no comparison to the closed spaces of the Great Dwarven Library. Got 
it. Now back to the Grumpy Dwarf. Let me get the navigational stone. It fits. Did it do anything? Nothing. Just as I expected. Wait a minute. The Eskoim also used mana. Let's connect a pipe and see what happens. Light, what do you know? It worked. Well, and our first colony is ready. We can send a raven and wait for the colonists. Good trip. I can't believe it. I hope he succeeds. He will succeed. I believe in it. The first colony is finished. This is just the beginning. Brilliant. 
Why did none of us ever come up with this? Look, I can jump so high I could catch birds in flight. How on earth could we find something like this in Eskoim ruins? I have no idea. Maybe the construction of the armor is based on Eskoim ideas. Or maybe something really strange is going on here. Right. 